Luscious Masker has stated in almost all of her videos and lives how she wants to lose weight and be healthier, and how she commits to dieting and then gives up. Every video and every live she gives us another excuse as to why she has fallen off her diet and went as far as to ask her fans to hold her liable. But as soon as they hold her liable, she blocks them and ignores them because all of a sudden she feels attacked. My weight is really affecting me and it's really making me unhappy and it's really making me feel bad about myself. Um, and what came with that also, once I kept analyzing, what is that, what happened? I realized, you know what? I gave up. I gave up on myself. I gave up caring for myself. I gave up showing up for myself. I didn't care. I didn't care what I was eating. I didn't care what I was putting into my body. I didn't care about how I was treating myself. I didn't care. I've been preaching this whole love yourself, we gotta love ourselves. But sis, you know what? This is a hard truth and I'm gonna say it. It's a real hard truth. It's not enough. Looking at yourself, telling yourself you love yourself, those words of affirmation, they help, but they're not enough. They're not enough. You actually have to do the work. Self-love, self-care, it is hard. It is probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And I'm only a week in, but actually caring for myself, worrying about what I'm putting into my body, how I'm eating, how much I'm eating, trying to lose weight, trying to have these conversations is so hard, but I have to do it because I have to get rid of all the excuses. I have been making excuses. Every time I have to do something that is difficult, that has to do with caring for me and that's good for me and that's productive for me, that's gonna do well for me, when it's hard, I check out. Oh, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> oh, I'm fully delusional. The doll delusions are real. I am living in a delusion right now. She swears, just because of this busted ass wig, she swears she's the one. So literally, okay, so this is, this is the setup. I'm like, girl, he told me, he straight up told me, he's like, well, if you don't work out, uh, if you don't eat right, you know, that shows me that you don't care about yourself. And if you don't care about yourself, you probably don't love yourself. And how do you expect me to care for you? How do you expect me to love you if you don't care or love yourself? That's what this guy said to me. And I'm there shook. And so I, I'm telling my friend and she said, well, what, well, do you think there's any truth to that? <laughs> Girl, when I tell you, it's almost like she grabbed me and she went, whoo, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, she sent me off to Chromatica. And I, I sat. I took a second because the, the the question was hard. It was a little real. It got me. And I said, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. Part of me feels like, what if he's, what if he's like, like, you know, sometimes there are real deep truths, you know? Part of me, I don't know if it's the saboteur in me. I don't, I don't know what it is, but part of me feels like, what if he was right? What if that way of thinking, which, I mean, it's not just this guy, but it's something I've heard my whole life. So many people make uh, plus size people feel like that. Although Luscious admits to having horrible eating habits, it not only stems from her own self-sabotage, it also stems from her toxic relationships. One of those relationships being with her friend Joella Puss, who is not only obese herself, but indulges on having one of the worst eating habits, period and being a bad influence on Luscious's eating habits. Mm, the dolls. La sopa de mariscos, honey. Look at Joella, girl. Look at Joella. She's making her own taco, honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, the lady Joella. Mm -hmm. How can I care for somebody if they don't care for themselves? How can I love somebody if they don't love themselves? You know, I would need to be with somebody who goes to the gym. I would need to be with somebody who, you know, watches what they put into their body. And I also don't like healthy food. <laughs> Let's be.
be honest, girl. I like good, nasty ass fried food. That's why I eat it, girl. And it's, I know it's gotten me to this point. But the reality is, honey, I like spaghetti, honey. I like pizza. I like hamburgers, honey. I like going to the buffet. I like Chinese food, girl. I like pastries. I like a good cheesecake, girl. I like all the nasty stuff. Like, let's be honest, sis. Who the hell likes a salad, girl? Who wants to eat some dry ass grilled chicken? Who is trying to eat that nasty ass dried kale salad and um, a tilapia nasty ass fish or honey with mercury from the sea? Let's be honest. Ain't nobody trying to eat tuna for the rest of their life, girl. Just broccoli and tuna. Broccoli and tuna and chicken, grilled chicken with no flavor. It's always the same story over and over when it comes to her weight gain. But nobody is responsible but herself. She's the one putting herself in that situation and instead of facing it head on, she diverts and joins the crowd and eats out of control. This, after saying so many times that she wanted to change it, that she wanted to do it. But all she is doing is delaying. Delaying the honest truth that her eating habits are out of control. It would probably, it was probably some other like obese yeah. drag queens to do investigations and to really like, you know, really try and see what's going to do. You're out of breath in the stairs. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, drink, drink, I'm trying to survive, drink, girl. Drink. You know what? Let me tell you though. I, I need to live in a house with stairs because yes. I feel like it's, it's going to it's gonna it. keep me strong. Like a healthy horse. Oh my. <laughs> this is from Joella's. She cut me a piece because she wanted me to. What? Where's the other? Where's the other bread, girl? <laughs> oh, I missed the other bread. Hold on. Mm. Uh, the, what uh, is this? Bob sausage, egg, and a, on a bun with cheese. Bun? Sausage, egg, and cheese. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It reminds me like when your grandma would make you breakfast with bun. Mm. We got this from Whataburger. It's good. <laughs> it's good when it's hot. <laughs> it's been sitting there already for 40 minutes. I couldn't eat because a sensible cross-dressing woman okay. does not eat. So I was like, okay, well, baby, do you have some snacks? She said, yeah, I have some. I said, baby, okay, give me some Flaming Hot. I want to. I want to pick all, all on his tab. All on the tray. Thank you. A fabulous, expensive meal. He got me some flaming <laughs> hot. He got me a pickle, and he got me some corn nuts. And let me tell you, that was a fabulous snack. I really enjoyed it. If Lush just keeps eating the way she is at this current pace, not only will she start to deteriorate, but her depression and anxiety will increase, and her self-esteem will be even worse than it is now. I feel like Lush just should. Focus more on her diet right now in this time of her life because the older she gets, the harder it will be to control it. If you have seen most of her past videos, you will notice the weight gain she has had, and it is serious, and it needs to stop before it's too late.